Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. Three passengers from the Mayflower may be buried right here behind us in the Cove Burying Ground in East Ham. Let's find out more. CapeCast. So Mr. Carlson, we understand that some Mayflower passengers may be buried here in East Ham. What do you know about that? Well, you're absolutely right, and it's great you thought of them here at uh, Thanksgiving. We have monuments to three uh, teenagers who came on the Mayflower. We've got uh, here, we've got Constance Hopkins, and her, and her brother has been the back, uh, Giles Hopkins, and, uh, and Captain Rogers is over on the other side of the cemetery. These folks are probably all buried in here uh, in unmarked graves. They were placed by the Mayflower Society in, uh, I think, about 1966. Well, I don't think any other Mayflower passengers are, I'm not aware of any that are buried on the Cape. So the ones we have here in the Cove Burying Ground uh, are folks who came over, uh, briefly stopped on Cape Cod, but then everyone goes over to Plymouth. But decades later, these folks end up down in East Ham, I guess, as they start moving around and starting marrying and finding their own place in the world. Yeah, I think that's, that's correct. According to the website MayflowerHistory.com, Constance Hopkins Snow came with her father Stephen, stepmother Elizabeth, brother Giles, and stepsister Damaris on the Mayflower in 1620 at the age of 14. She married Nicholas Snow and lived in Plymouth for a time before the couple, who had 12 children, moved to East Ham around 1645. Constance's brother Giles was 12 when he arrived on the Mayflower. He volunteered for service in the 1637 Pequot War, but was not called. He married in 1639 in Plymouth and shortly thereafter moved his family to Yarmouth. He lived in Yarmouth for about five years before moving to East Ham, where he died sometime between 1688 and 1690. Joseph Rogers came with his father Thomas on the Mayflower to Plymouth when he was about 17. He married and had his first child in Plymouth before moving to Duxbury around 1638. He lived there for a number of years before moving to East Ham around 1646 and resided in Sandwich for a few years around 1650 before returning to East Ham where he died in 1678. So as sort of a historian, I mean, your best educated guess would be that this area would be the final resting spot of these Mayflower passengers. Oh, sure. There's a good chance of it. In Provincetown, there's also an interesting memorial to Mayflower passengers who uh, seem to have died at sea, but maybe in or around Cape Cod Bay when the pilgrims first arrived in Provincetown. In memory of the five Mayflower passengers who died at sea, and while the ship lay in Cape Cod Harbor. William Button, Edward Thompson, Jasper Moore, Dorothy Bradford, James Chilton. James Chilton was the only signer of the Mayflower Compact who died at Cape Cod. What better way then to celebrate that Thanksgiving time of year on Cape Cod when it's chilly like it is in the burying ground right now, you can almost feel what it must have been like to show up here on a chilly day in 1620 and you're just in a new world and what a life, what a rough thing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's history big time stuff. Absolutely, and it's a perfect reason why everyone should come out here at Thanksgiving time and, and uh, take a look at these monuments and think a little bit about the history. 